The basic goal of the Waldorf education is to prepare children for their future, for the lives that they're going to lead um, in a world that we can't predict. And so we have to develop in them capacities to meet the future. A capacity isn't something that you know like a list of facts. It's, um, it's the ability to meet the unknown and to be able to overcome any obstacles that are in your way so that you have a very deep and firm foundation that you don't address just what's going on in the children's minds, but you address what's going on in their bodies and their spirit as well. Um, and that, so it's a whole approach to education. The primary goal of, the, of Waldorf education is to educate the students to be free and independent human beings, to have the ability to think uh, for themselves and to uh, reach their full uh, potential, their destiny. I think Waldorf education is about having a balance. So yes, you want to develop the individual, but I think in doing that you also develop that sense of citizenship, responsibility to a community. The philosophy is the child is seen as a whole person, as a human being, and they are respected and supported by their teachers and guided through, through, through their learning journey and through life you have that individual attention where you are encouraged to stand up for yourself, to be an independent person. They help you learn how to learn and having that helps you throughout your whole life because you know that you have that capability to learn if you're stuck on something you, and that comes from a solid education. Um, if you look at our school, it's really divided into three different parts and the teaching is different in each of those uh, areas of our school so the, the preschool has its own approach to educating the children recognizing that young children are active and imitative so everything we do in their presence should be done with great care. My assignment as a grade school teacher is to recognize that they live more and more strongly in the grade schools through their feeling and in the grade school the focus is much more on the understandings that are going to prepare the students for college because we are a college preparatory school and we work with a rigorous and demanding curriculum. In the high school the focus is on clear and precise thinking and with abstract thinking and a certain logic to the thought that you just don't find in the grade school in the same way. With the two to four year olds it's really at the very beginning of their education they have very strong will forces. We find that a healthy thing because they are starting to express who they are and they're starting to express their will. Um, and in the classroom what you're doing is, is trying to nurture that willingness to do something in a healthy way so they can learn cooperative skills and so that they learn some empathy and some compassion. Um, that sense of wonder is something that they try to continue throughout the development of the, the ages here from first grade on, they're still working in a way that um, is developing the sense of inquiry and curiosity. From first grade through eighth grade, you have to teach to the heart of children, to the heart of childhood, so that the problems they encounter, they'll really be able to attend to and to focus in and to solve with imagination. Um, certain resiliency of heart, because as we know, Life has both its successes and its, and its challenges, and to have the emotional wherewithal to meet those challenges is important. And then to have the determination and willpower to follow through on the ideas that you really want to put in place in your life. And so those three capacities, uh, those, that, those are really the goal of Waldorf education. In sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, it's a very unique opportunity to um, see where the feeling life and the thinking life really merge. And then the intellect wakes up more and more, six through eight, and then in the high school, we have a very robust intellect. And they're really um, much more on their own to bring the stories out of the curriculum content and to process them and to think their own thoughts from there. What we're trying to develop, first of all, in the high school students is an independence of thought. And we do that through the actual curriculum, and we do that as we work with the students in groups. Um, there's a focus both on 
the class as a whole and the individual student's development. I think one of the primary ways that Waldorf education is different in that we have a very full curriculum and everyone is expected to participate in that curriculum. Uh, we do have chances in the high school where students can elect to take a certain class, um, but for the most part everybody takes the full curriculum which includes the main lessons, a uh, academic pursuits like English and math, they take foreign language, but they also do music and they do arts, they do movement, and they are required to do sports. Being required to participate in a full range of activities is healthy to develop a more full and complete uh, person. Thank you.